In this video, I am going to show you how you can get custom URL for your PHP pages. So you might have seen in a website that uh, in uh, the web pages, you don't uh, see the .php extension. It will be like something uh, written like if it's an about us uh, .php page, you'll be seeing about us only. So how you can get this, how you can uh, remove that PHP extension completely and i'll show you how we can uh, by that how, how you can pass some parameters url parameters also with that okay so i'm going to show you what we are going to do so this is my website the codes.us okay so i have some pages here where i'm just listing some of the codes uh, of uh, indian banks okay so if i'm just selecting this one clicking you can see it's uh, taken to a page like uh, the codes.us slash India. Actually, uh, this is taken to another page like a bank store PHP, but in the front end, in the URL, it's like uh, written as slash dot India. I'll show you one more. Uh, this is another the list of banks. If I'm just clicking this one, you can see it's uh, taken to another page like the slash India slash the bank name. Okay. So here also it's taken to a, a different page. Uh, so we are hiding that page name or page extension from uh, the user and we are using a custom URL for this one okay so I'm going to show you how you can set this one and uh, this is actually I'm passing this parameter and based on this parameter the banks are listed in this area okay so I'll show you how you can set this using a simple example so I have created a simple PHP server in my PC. The server name is XAM, where I can uh, start my Apache module and uh, develop my PHP pages in my PC. Okay. So if you don't know how to set up a simple PHP server, go on to my videos. I have I have another video how we can set up a simple PHP server. Okay. So this is my XT docs folder of my XAM server where I will create my PHP pages. Okay. Now I have not started my Apache server. You can see if I am just uh, go on to my local host server nothing will come okay so if I'm just starting the server from here and if I'm just refreshing here you can see the exam server will uh, respond something okay so there is no index.php that's why it's coming like this okay so I'm going to create a simple uh, page uh, the name of the page I'm giving it as index.php okay it's a PHP page actually So I can just go to my server if I'm just refreshing it will be a blank page as our PHP page is blank okay so let me open in my notepad plus I'm just writing uh, like uh, index page okay so let it be index page save it if I'm just refreshing you can see it will list index page it will show index page okay so same way I'm going to create uh, two or three pages so the page name is uh, about.php and the next one is uh, protect.php and the last one I'm giving it as contact contact.php okay so let me open uh, these three in the notepad again and I'm giving uh, writing the uh, content in contact.php as contact page now it's a uh, protect page and this is about page okay now if I'm just going to the index.php, I'm giving the name as uh, about.php, let's see what's coming, about.php should come as about page, okay, see, and uh, the contact.php should come as uh, contact page, okay, so for all it will come uh, the content in that page, okay. So further, we, I'm going to create a simple navigation in, uh, in this page so we can navigate between uh, different pages quickly and easily. Yes, have uh, created a symbol uh, for href tags and each one is taken to different page. You can see index.php uh, on uh, this index uh, tag will take to index.php and about will take to about.php and product will take to product.php and same way contact will take to contact.php. Okay, so let, go, let me go back to index.php and see how it is. You can see it's a simple kind of navigation. So if I'm just clicking about it should take you to about.php. Okay. Now in the product page you can see it's uh, taken to product and if I'm just clicking the contact it's taken to contact.php okay. So let me copy this uh, navigation to another pages also so it will be available in all pages okay. It will be done like this in the product page, it's done like this and the about page same way. 
I'm doing like this okay so I'm just refreshing again if I'm just going to about you can see the about page product you can see the product page and contact you can see the contact page okay now I'm going to change this uh, this extension from here so I'm going to hide that name I'm uh, going to give exactly what I want to give as uh, the URL of the page okay so for that I'm going to create a new file in this folder so first create a new text uh, uh, file here and then just open it and uh, just go to select uh, save as and select all and I'm going to give the file name as dot htx okay should be uh, done like this way only because if you are going to trying to create uh, their file uh, using uh, directly as this file it won't be created windows will uh, give you an error okay so you can try it it won't be created okay so i'm going to delete it this dot text dot uh, this text file and we are going to do our stuff in this dot stxs folder okay so let me open in my notepad plus yes now i'm going to write some hard coded values in this one and i'll show you how you can use that uh, in your pages for creating the custom url okay Yes, I have just written two line of codes. Uh, the line of codes are rewrite engine on and the rewrite rule. Okay, so by these two symbol lines, you can have uh, the custom URL for this about.php. Okay, so uh, if you are writing this uh, as uh, uh, slash uh, about, it will go to the about.php. Okay, so let's go to the localhost page again. So it's our index page. So I'm just writing about here in caps lock. Okay. And just press enter. It will take you to the about page. Okay. So if uh, I'm just giving about one and save it. And uh, if I'm refreshing, it won't work. And please give as uh, about one and just enter. It will take you to about page. Okay. So this is how you can uh, have your custom URL. So this is the simplest way of uh, doing that. So let me uh, write this for all pages, okay? About page, and uh, the next one is uh, contact page. Copy contact.php and uh, paste it here and uh, put it as uh, contact, okay? And then we can have is product.php, okay? So take that product from the and paste it here and it will be like product.php and same way the last page is contact.php okay contact.php and write it as uh, contact and now just save it and go back to the page refresh it and uh, we have changed that into about so should uh, so should be like about page and the next one is the product page you can see if I'm just giving it as product to take you to the product page okay now you can use this to uh, have your href configured okay for the navigation so I'm going to this uh, copy this about from here going to index.php so we have given as uh, in href you have given it as about.php you can simply paste your about from here and uh, same way going to contact copy uh, contact so instead of contact.php I'm simply putting it as contact and then product take it and uh, paste it in the product and again uh, the contact uh, so there is two contact okay you don't need that to copy it as about contact and product okay that's all about contact product index is index.php cell you can just copy these to all pages contact I'm copying it here and in the product page also I'm pasting it here and the about page also I'm just pasting it here okay yes that's all let's go to the index.php here and just click in about you can see the link is different and it's taken to about.page and product you can see it's taken to product page and contact it's taken to contact page okay now what if you have your profile is inside a folder uh, in your root folder okay so I'm giving a, another uh, folder I'm giving it as uh, uh, image folder okay and it as image folder and I'm going to copy a file from here contact.php any file okay and I'm giving the name as image.php okay now I'm going to open this in my notepad plus 
I am giving the name as uh, image page. Okay, I am just uh, giving it as image page. So uh, inside the href, I am index page. I am going to create one more navigation. So it's like images. Okay, and uh, how you can go to this images folder using your stxs uh, file. Okay, and uh, it's like just paste it from here itself and uh, write your name as uh, image so this will be a url uh, of uh, uh, the uh, url of this page and here it should be like uh, is going to the image folder so copy the folder name from here and it will be like slash image folder slash image dot php okay slash image dot php yes that's all now save it and we have uh, created this uh, navigation to this page from in the index.php so i'm con converting that uh, hrf to images okay now go back to the page refresh so the images uh, navigation is there if i'm just clicking that we can wait there is an error i think uh, we don't want to add this uh, slash here save it come back refresh and if i'm just clicking images you can see it is taken to images page and you can see the link is slash images only and it is completely hiding uh, that uh, the image folder i mean image.php inside this image folder okay now what if you want to pass a, a parameter url parameter with this okay so i'm going to show you that and for that in the images folder i'm going to uh, rewrite the images folder that the, this uh, this page can uh, have uh, URL parameters uh, in this page and we'll read that URL parameters okay yes I have just updated the image root like this it is like uh, uh, image slash and it can have any values okay and it is being redirected to image folder uh, in inside image folder image.php and it can accept a parameter with parameter name as param1 okay and in the image for a php i'm just getting that image param and just printing that okay now let's try this one so it's like slash image slash uh, uh, the parameter okay so just me, let me refresh now if i'm uh, just hovering here you can see in this section it's going to the slash image okay so if i'm just clicking that it will not open the page because of the stxs uh, file is accepting expecting a, a parameter there so i'm giving the parameter name as india and just press enter you can see it's being printed india okay so without uh, uh, any parameters it won't work there okay so it's always expecting one parameter so if you want to get uh, i mean it if you want to work without uh, any parameter also you can update it and you can update the old rule let me copy paste the same rule down here and uh, remove this uh, slash extension completely from here and i don't want any parameters okay so it will be like this yes that's all just save it now and I come back to the page refresh and go into the image it is slash image okay so if i'm just clicking slash image it is saying like internal server okay so let's see what is the reason for that no we don't want this backslash here i guess just forward slash i mean just refresh it yes okay so if i'm just refreshing it is uh, saying that this param one is unidentified index so you can give a if loop here so it will be like if uh, this is set you can just print it if it is not set you don't want to print it okay yes i have just updated like is set param one echo param one okay now let's go back to the project if i'm just refreshing it you can see the parameter is not set it won't it is no problem if i'm just giving a slash uh, 333 just press and uh, you can see the 333 will be printing there okay so you can have uh, without parameters and with uh, with one parameter okay so if you want more parameters like this just go to stxs copy the rewrite rule from here same way and uh, paste this rule from here and give a slash and paste it here okay and you can have uh, a one more parameters like uh, ampersand param2 param2 equal to 2 uh, equal to dollar 2 okay yes that's all 
now what we we'll, you can have is you can have more than uh, one parameter and it is two we can have two parameters okay so the second one will, will be param2 now now go into image uh, dot php paste it here give a breakpoint uh, no problem give a breakpoint here so it will be like uh, coming in next line okay it will be like yeah okay and if the parameter 2 is set just print that param2 okay that's all now going back just uh, copy it to image only it will work and give one parameter slash one it will work and give the second parameter it will take the second no there's some problem let's uh, go to the stxs and see what is the problem and uh, yeah we don't want this dollar sign here okay this should be always for the last slash param value okay so dollar sign have just removed save it now go back and refresh and go back to the slash image only it will take image only first and uh, then slash one one it will take one one and uh, slash two two it will take two two okay and there is no slash three three it will give uh, you won't read anything yes okay if you want to have a slash 3 3 also just uh, copy the rewrite rule again and uh, just copy from this area to this paste it one second uh, copy it till slash and paste it again okay yes it will allow us to pass a third way, uh, parameter also so it will be like uh, ampersand param 3 yes we have uh, set the param 3 and we can have uh, have the third parameter also okay now i have set uh, these uh, special characters till uh, all these because we can access i mean we can have small letter uh, caps letter 0 to 9 values and these all special characters in the parameters okay that's that's why this is this big okay if you want to have a uh, I mean if you are having a, a numbers only you can have a 0 to 9 only on this uh, this section okay I, I have put all these because we can have all these uh, characters in the URL okay now let's go back to the page I mean uh, let's uh, check the till we have it till we have check 2 2 okay and if I am just giving 3 3 also it will read no it's not reading yes it is not reading because we don't we didn't have that uh, third parameter to be read here okay so copy paste three three and again this break should be here okay so it will come in third line so if i'm just pressing enter the three three will be coming okay so you can have unlimited i mean uh, unlimited url parameters here all you want to have is increase your uh your st access folder i mean access in this one and uh, you can have unlimited parameters hope you got this how you can have your custom url for your pages in your using your php if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll share all the source code in my description you can have it and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching